Wigtown Bay and its mud are just something that I love. This is sand coming in from the sea, this is sediments coming down to the river, and all of those things make different kinds of mud. If it's really shiny, it means there's lots of water in there and they are the areas to avoid. So those are usually the areas around the rivers. But every single piece of mud has tons and tons of animals living it. Some so small we'd need a microscope and some that are bigger that we can see and dig up and have a look at. I love the way that mud can move. Yes. Um, and I love the way that mud, it, looks, it seems so solid and devoid of life, yeah, it's just so completely completely full of it. Well, I think that's one of the things, I mean, we're looking from here and it kind of looks like a flat field. It doesn't look that interesting, but when you get out there, there's all the creeks and crannies and hidden vegetation as well. We've got out to the mud now. There's lots of stuff that's living in here, but you can see if you actually look at it, there's quite a lot of shine on it. It means there's a lot of water in there. And that means that we have to treat it with care. It should be really good to actually get out onto. So I brought some forks so we can dig some things up, but to start with, we don't want to stop. So what we're going to do, if you wait there for a second, what we're going to do is we're going to go out onto it and we're going to slide rather than walk. back to safe land. <laughs> so if we have a little look you can see there's bits where you can see kind of lines where something's moved and you can see little holes. So we've got a little bit of power and as we do this it'll crack and if you're doing it well you should be able to see the profile and where the burrows are and then we get something like our little catworm again. So this one if we put it down might actually crawl back into the into the mud. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick my hand in and you can have a little look at this mud here. It's something that's worth taking some of this blacker stuff and having a quick little smell because it's very sulphurous. Mm. And so, it. yeah, rotten eggs was, was what uh, I was always told it smelled like. So, I mean, that's one of the special things about the plants here is that the tide comes over, covers them with this kind of sediment and then they grow through it, and they grow through it, and they grow through it, because every day it's covered twice. Not so much at this point, because we're up in the, in the kind of high reaches, but it's great stuff. I love mud. Everybody who comes in any of my walks will tell you that I say mud is good. Yeah. <laughs>